Hi, my name is Richard Brown from Abound Power Planning and uh, welcome to the final video, yes the final video in the launch of the Abound Power Planning service. Thank you for listening to the uh, previous six short videos um, and today I guarantee you I'll only keep you for about two minutes. Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to touch on today that I thought were of some value to you if you're considering outsourcing your statements of advice preparation. You know, with some of you, I know it's a big step to just jump over and outsource um, because, you know, there's a range of uh, potential issues that you may be concerned about. I'm going to uh, read off a little cue card today here on a couple of the points that I think might be relevant to, to, to the um, uh, outsourcing of statements of advice. The second thing I just wanted to remind you of the March special and the launch offer that we've uh, that we've got going on for this month. Just a couple of further points that I would like to raise. Are they going to do a good job? Well, um, on on the website we've provided sample docs so you can see exactly what type of service that you'll receive. If you want to receive something in addition to that, or some other samples of different strategies please don't hesitate to give me a call uh, or send me an email and, and I'll send you some other drafts of statements of advice and or discussion papers that, that, that we use and I've actually spoken about. Um, can they do the work up to the, the required standard? Um, we've, as I've said in previous videos, we've got all CFP qualified staff preparing the statements of advice. Um, we're always happy to learn uh, uh, more um, in terms of how we can do things better, but we think we've got a pretty good document in place now. Um, so we would be more than happy to make required changes to bring it up to your standard if you thought uh, that something could be added to improve the presentation or the, uh, the document itself. But having said that, we've been working on these documents for a number of years so we're pretty confident you're going to get a pretty good or in fact a very good outcome for you and for your client. Um, another question that might come up is the statement of advice going to be compliant? Now um, as I said just a few moments ago we've been working on the um, on, on these statements of advice for a number of years so we believe that they are more than compliant. However, we do recognise that other licensees may have their own um, requirements in terms of the way the statements of advice should be presented um, and we would be more than happy to incorporate those changes into your statements of advice. As statements of advice have come through to us requesting, um, we have asked them to provide a sample template of uh, a previous statements of advice we've done and with any particular focus that they would like to draw our attention to, i.e. the disclosure page, i.e. the reasons for switch. Some of those can be potentially not negotiable in terms of the licensee on how that's actually presented in the statement of advice. More than happy to accommodate. Um, I'm going to lose control of my client and the process. Um, well, all I can say is that you are, as the financial planner, completely in control of this process. We do not and will not ever contact your client. We deal with you directly. You tell us what you want us to do. We're just helping you save time, improve efficiency, and um, so you can spend more time with your clients and doing the things that you're supposed to do instead of front of a computer trying to do longer term projections and so on and so forth. Um, finally, just coming back to and probably touching on the previous video just and uh, a, a, a little bit, but the point that I would like to make, what happens with the data after the job is completed? As I say, the data, our data is stored off-site and is password protected. 
Um, however, if you want us to delete your job after it's completed, we're more than happy to do that. Uh, all we would request is something on an email to say, please re, uh, delete this job, uh, and we will go ahead and do that on your behalf. Keep in mind, it could be to your advantage, depending on what systems you use, is to have another backup here that you can refer back to us. But happy to delete if that's what you want us to do. So they're just a few of the points I thought that were worth raising uh, in relation to the outsourcing of uh, uh, preparation of statements of advice and I hope a couple of those tips are relevant to you and your organisation. Finally, um, as it's uh, the end of March is closing, um, our special offer of two uh, statements of advice for the price of one, uh, it closes on the 31st of March so that, well, that's a standard uh, complex or simple SOA. Um, you pay for the first one and the second one will be free to the same value. We've had a number of firms take advantage of this offer already uh, and they have been more than pleased with the service and the delivery. Also, we, we are providing the um, presentation document, uh, which is normally $100 uh, in, uh, that goes with the statement of advice. We are um, providing that free of charge throughout the month of March. So if we receive an order by the 31st of March, you'll qualify for that offer. Um, I just want to thank everyone for listening to the videos, as uh, you can appreciate, and I've said earlier, um, uh, I've received lots of emails from, uh, from people that I do know, people that I don't know, um, and generally it's been very, very positive um, uh, in terms of the service offering that we're putting out to the marketplace. I really thank you for listening. My name is Richard Brown, and if I can be of any assistance, please give me a call. I'm happy to come and see you, happy to do a Skype hook up with you and happy to chat on the phone. So um, once again, thanks very much and um, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video series. Thank you. Bye for now.